Mudder, Hello Fada by Alan Sherman and Lou Bush, uh, written in 1963, based on the opera by uh, Ponticelli uh, from Dance of the Hours. I play it here in the key of C. It has four different parts. Here is part one. This song in what I call a question and answer format, which means the melody is the question, and then the bass part is the answer. It's a one, two, three. You can play C, 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 you can play C, C, E, you can play C, E, C, you can be. It doesn't matter what you play as long as you play it within the chord. It's the same thing with the G. certain parts of the song you don't use the question and answer and I'll mention those when we get to them. This first line is E, G, G, A and then you answer with a C. And you do A, C, C, B and then you answer with a G chord. And then it's G chord, and then it's D, F, F, E, and answer with a C chord. So this first part looks like this. Then you move to the second part. second D note here, you play a G chord. Now you can do with a low G, or you can do with this higher G. And the melody is D, C, C, B. And then the next chord is a D chord. So you hit the D in the bass. G chord hitting the A G for the melody. So these first two lines look like this. first line. seventh chord to answer and then you just walk down the scale D C E A and then an F chord and then answer with the F and then F E and this 
final line. C chord. And that is a C chord. F, E, C chord. E. Just down the scale. And then A note for the G chord. A, G. D with the C chord. D to a C. So the second part looks like this. Starts out with the C minor, hitting the fourth and second strings, and then you move to an F minor. Everything's on the first and the third fret. You hold your bar down on the first fret, you start off with a D, C on the second string, and then the third string. And then the fourth string, you do the first fret, third fret. Repeat. And then you go back to the C minor. Then the third time through on this C minor, you hit the fourth and third strings, and you move up to this E flat. You're just playing the fifth and fourth strings. Slide up the fourth, two, and then back down, and then go to a D flat. Hitting the fourth and fifth strings, and then to the G note on the third string. Hitting a G in the bass, and then G sharp. So that run looks like this. Mm -hmm. 